hi this is Samira please join me today at the Temple of Isis on the island of Philae here we'll visit an ancient Egyptian disco and we'll learn about the importance of laughter and how fear controls the amount of laughter we can have in our life please join me and Hassan Khalil the master Egyptologist and share in the wisdom of Isis Temple Music corner. Hmm. This beautiful room is still under restoration. is dedicated to a deity, very important, a manifestation of laughter. We believe in laughter. And this is the best story human on earth. We ought to keep laughing. But we know how we laugh in ancient Egypt and how we laugh human. If we laugh with one another, this is very human. If we laugh at one another, this is inhuman. <laughs> we have to understand the Egyptian laughter. The Egyptians even sang, laugh with me and don't laugh at me. And to make you understand the game laughter, because it's a game you play with the higher self, you understand the amount of fun and fear. I'm not playing words. Fun and fear. You have fun, laugh. You have fear, laugh. Mm. But your fear would control the amount of laughter and the way you laugh. Mm. The name of the God that causes uh, laughter and fear is Bess. B for a boy, E-S, Bess. Bess is the God of laughter and fear. And how do you make yourself laugh with respect? You see his name. Bes means laugh. And Bes means fright, fear. He is a man like God, funny looking, dwarfish. But he has details of the monkey to assure the ability of jumping. And he will be given the face of a man mixed with the face of a lion to cause you fright. Beautiful manifestation of uh, laughter, fun, and fright, fear. Would you like to see the God? Look at his figure. This is this. <laughs> see that? See his body? And you see the mixture of the face, if you have better details. We are lucky. We are going to meet this God many times. He is going to wait for you right here, right now. Very soon we can see him. But the best representation of that God will be in Dendra next Sunday when we come from Abydos. Representation. Why Dendra? Because there it is Hathor. And he is one of her husbands. Now you can see him. The lion, the man, the dwarf. But I am referring to two things. People ignore that. that. I always say people ignore that. I don't accuse people ignorant, but I accuse them lazy. They don't try to think. Look, he is standing on a platform. Can you see the platform? This is in fact the stage. If you dance, if you play music, if you sing, you are on the stage. On a stage people. You are of a higher level of the self. The second thing, he is also being granted a beautiful hat. Look at Francis hat <laughs> and look at my hat. But he's given a hat with seven feathers. Yeah, you understand uh -huh. the number yesterday. seven, seven <laughs> feathers. And if mm. you have just one feather, you can say very important man. If you have two feathers, we said this is God, Amun Ra, how supreme, equality and justice. But if you have seven feathers, this is controlling the whole story of this life. You are in the seventh heaven. Uh -huh. uh, for heaven's sake. You've got all your chakras lined up. That's it. He and got you're all happy. the chakras. He got all the chakras because of his method of uh, leading this life through singing, dancing, playing music, and you may not play, but you ought to listen to the music. <laughs> so you play and you listen to the music. Please come.
that an owl. This is the word im. We say that im. Im. Which means here. Now. Now, do you know the word for tomorrow? The star. Shadow. The star. The word tomorrow is dua. Dua. So tomorrow is dua. And after is dua. So he is im. And tomorrow im dua. Im dua in hieroglyphics meant here tomorrow. And this is the whole story of ancient Egypt. The Egyptians made it clear. This life is the journey, and tomorrow is eternity. So make use of your journey, and have a successful journey. Understand with awareness who you are and where you are. And this is the star, which is tomorrow. enjoyed your short journey to Egypt and that you connected with the magic and the mystery and the who knows what will happen in your life as a result of joining me on Amira's Egypt.